All right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, today is a very special day, and let me share with you why. You may recall about a month and a half ago, actually, maybe about two months ago, I did a video addressing one of the common questions that I get quite often. Seeing that I've tested and reviewed a lot of camera bags over the years and so forth, you guys have asked which ones do I keep? Now, and I shared with you during this video, I think there's seven bags in there that are out of all the bags that I've tested over the years, these, there's either six or seven bags in there that I have kept and that I use. Therefore, when a new manufacturer comes out with a new bag, a kind of a successor to one of those existing bag, that's a oh hell yeah sort of a day. And that's what we're going to be addressing here today. I'm gonna to share with you one of the bags that's up on this wall right now came out with a new version. And as I understand, now I haven't opened it up yet, this thing is supposed to be badass. All right, we're gonna to get to all that here in a moment, but first guys, I gotta ask you to do me a huge favor. You see, we put these videos together to help you make educated decisions on different gear to buy or stay tuned with what's happening in the photography industry or just share with you new gear that has come out. Now, before we get going with this, if you find some value with this video as you're watching this, do me a favor, go down below, hit that like button. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. Basically what happens when you hit that like button down below it tells YouTube that, hey, this video was helpful, you liked it. Now YouTube is going to share this video with more people that are wired just like you, getting them aware of our channel, which really does help out. So with that said, my friend, we really owe you a big appreciation or a big thank you. That said, pull up a seat in, let's go. Okay, so which bag has come out with a successor? Bam, the F-Stop Talopa. Now this bag right here, I have had for, geez, a number of years. It was one of the bags I brought with me over to Norway for shooting the Northern Lights. This bag has, this bag has some miles on it. This bag is one of the bags that legitimately is funny because as this new bag has come and I'm going back, I'm like, man, what was, there's always something I don't like about every bag. All right, there was one little thing on here that I I wish it had and it completely, just thinking about this here, it's minor because I very rarely, but I like to have it, I like to have it, you know how it is, in case you ever wanna use it. So this one really doesn't have a dedicated in the back computer sleeve. Now you can fit, if memory serves me quick, you can fit, yeah, no, you can't fit anything back here. Some of the bags, they have a little sleeve, a little pocket that you can put your laptop in. Um, and so while I usually have a dedicated bag that I bring my laptop with me, every once in a while, I do like to be able to, or I will put my, my computer in the bag, the bag that I'm using it itself here. But anyway, guys, I can't wait to share with you or crack this new thing, this new bag open right here. Now, here's the thing that excites me most. When I look at this bag, I'm, and I'm trying to visualize you know, what they could have done to make the new version better than this. So th this video is gonna be broken up in a, in a few little segments here. This first part, I'm gonna crack this sucker open in front of you guys. Then we'll shift the camera to an overhead. We'll do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at how the new bag is different. And then the fun part, during the next couple weeks, see, when you watch this, I would have had the bag a couple weeks already. And then the bag will be probably announced and yay. So. The, after I do the overhead, then I'm gonna play around with this bag during the next couple weeks, and then I'll come back in front of the camera and do some fancy editing, get in front of you, and I'm gonna share with you my two cents. Is the new bag as good or better than the existing one? Because we all know it. Sometimes brands, they come out with new products and they, they have a little fizzle and a little fazzle and, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't even know why the hell I just said that, but you get the point. But they they just don't live up to the classics. It's like a good movie. Sometimes the follow-up movie just isn't as good as the first. And I'm gonna let you know whether or not I think the new bag is as good or better than this one. Now let's get that thing up here. 
and crack it open. Okay, this is much smaller because that one has the little uh, center ICU. I think they call it a internal computer camera compartment or something like that. I think it was like ICU or something like that. But I'm excited about this because apparently these new bags have this badass new uh, material that they're using and color, if I can figure out how the hell they, you know what? I don't have the patience to figure out this knot. So I'm just gonna cut it because I will never use these plastic or these little Ziploc bags here. Damn. Okay, right off the get-go, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't make it. <laughs> There's a trash can right over there. Okay, right off the get-go, wow, this color is amazing. I heard it was a different green, and that is... That's a very rich green. That looks really... Now, let's puff this out a little bit. This looks fantastic, and you can see the new material that they are using right there, that diamond material. Man, that looks really fantastic. And one thing I'm noticing or I'm hearing, there's a lot more metal on this bag. So it looks, it looks, I'm seeing a lot of changes already in this thing, which is a big plus. There's a lot more metal hardware, whereas on the old bag, they're using plastic. This is, wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Quite a handful of differences. All right. This is gonna be an exciting review. I can tell right now, and in a minute, we're gonna shift the camera angle to above where we can start going. I'm gonna go through various things that I notice here and just change the camera angle so you can see a little bit better, but there's a lot of things I can tell right off the get-go that are really changed with this bag. Now, I may be wrong, but I believe there's a little bit more padding in the shoulder straps as well. This feels really fantastic. All right, let's shift the gears here and let's bring the cameras above so we can do a side-by-side -side and start really dissecting some of the things that are different with this bag. All right, guys, so here we have the old and we have the new Talopa. Now, there are a ton of things that they changed, a, t a lot of little small things that they've made uh, upgraded or they upgraded on the new bag here itself. So now this part of the video, I'm going to, I'm going to try to point out as many of these as I can think of. Uh, but when you have both bags side by side, it is very noticeable, very fast as far as what F-Stop did to improve or make the improvements to this bag right here. Now, so this is gonna be a little bit long-winded because there are a ton of things that they did change. That being the case, let's dive into, and let's dive into the back here. Uh, so as we can see here, you have, so again, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm just gonna point the differences between these things. And then of course, the last part of this video is I'm gonna get out there and start playing around with the bag itself. And then we'll, we'll close things off with kind of a final first impression. So starting off with on the back here, here's the old. You can see you have your handle, which is non-padded. And you can see on the new bag here, this is, it's padded. All right, next, I want to address the zipper pulls on each of these bags here. So you're going to notice even at the zipper pulls, there are some differences here. With the new bag, as you can see, this is actually paracord in the same color as the pack. Now, it does have a knot at the end, and there's a bit of a bit of a black uh, you know, shrink tubing. And this is going to really help, like if you're in wet situations or out in snow and you have gloves on, this gives you a little bit more meat to pull on and get these things to move the way that you want. Now, 
this is a good example of what I was talking about earlier. While I didn't have any problems with the zippers or how they were in the, with the, the old bag here, because as you can see, this has your paracore uh, right here, which is again in the same color as the bag. And you have this kind of like plastic clip thing on the end there, but you're, there's a significant difference in how much meat that you can actually grab. It actually looks like you're almost getting double the length with the new. So it is definitely a lot easier to get a hold of, and especially when you have gloves on, that's gonna make a world of difference as well. Now we're on the front of the bag, and we're gonna talk about this main pouch that's on the front here, because there's some really cool changes that they've done here, as you're going to see here in a moment. Now, of course, on both bags, you do have this AquaGuard zipper that goes around the whole front of the bag. And you can actually see, even with the old one, they have that as well here. Now, where you do see the change, uh, if you look at both these bags, you have this horizontal uh, zipper right down here in the front. Uh, on the new bag, you have it with that AquaGuard uh, zipper, whereas the old, it is, well, it's a standard zipper. Uh, and I've always used this, if I put my, my uh, tripod going through the back, the legs fit into this really nice and it keeps it secure. All right, so now we're gonna crack open the front pouch of the bag or bag, however you wanna look at it. And right up the get-go, you're gonna see some changes right away here. Now, this one, you have a pouch which is kinda awkwardly sewn into this front part right here. And it's just held on by a simple Velcro right there. And it extends down the entire depth of this section right here. Now, if you look at the new bag, okay. So again, we're talking a lot more organization because you have this uh, mesh uh, pocket right here on the top. Zipper allows you to store whatever you want in there. And right below that, you have this pouch that goes down and again, it extends down to the bottom there. So again, Good example of small changes that make a world of difference. Okay, flipping the bags over on the side. Okay, so here's, again, another, we're gonna come into an area where there's gonna be more obvious changes or little changes here, yep, shall we say. Now, both bags have the horizontal or the vertical uh, zipper here. Now, this one on the new bag has it with the AquaGuard zipper versus over here, this is a standard zipper. And again, this pocket extends all the way up here and goes along the front edge. And the same thing applies here. Now, actually, it does look like the depth of this is just a tad bit different. Let me grab a tape measure here. So on the old, the depth of this is six and a half. And yeah, so it's, it's about an inch. At the top, there's about an inch difference. Okay, that's six inch. At the wide end, yeah, six and a half. Okay, so about six, six and a quarter. Okay, so six and a quarter. Okay, so you, use a, you lose a little bit of the side pocket depth from old to new, but you gain the AquaGuard zipper. And then also, if you look down here, there is a horizontal pocket down on the bottom of here as well. And again, it has the, the AquaGuard zipper versus the old. There is no uh, horizontal uh, pocket there and certainly, of course, no zipper. Oh, and one other thing that I do want to point out is when you crack this open here, again, you can see you have these mesh pockets inside of here. And this goes all the way into the depth inside the uh, the pocket itself. So you have more storage inside of here versus with the old, there is, it is what it is. There's, there's no pockets, there's no mesh, there's no nothing in there. So again, there's a lot more, as we're talking here, I'm pointing out there's a lot more organizational opportunities with the new versus the old. Taking something that I spoke about being a awesome bag and surprisingly making it even better, which is, of course, badass. And while we have the bags on the side, one thing I do want to point out here as well, on the old bag, you have these side compression straps here. Now, this is sewn in onto the side, so like it or not, it stays there. Now, on the new bag, okay, these actually come, these are removable. So if you don't use this or you don't want it on there for whatever reason, or you want to use this strap elsewhere on the bag with the other 20 zillion <laughs> you know, anchor points that you have on this thing, these things pop off really easy. So again, these are not sewn in, case in point. So you can see 
this is can easily be moved down to here and so that is super convenient just pop it off unpop this and you can move it wherever you want so that's a nice little upgrade as well versus these being sewn in and while speaking of these gatekeepers uh with the new bag you actually get two of these with the old now unless you have the elite or i think it was the master bundle uh, you don't get any of these gatekeepers so again you're getting a couple included in the new bag all right let's talk about the main straps on the back with the new bag you have five-way adjustable clip-in system and this does include as with the old bag you have the emergency wood whistle that is actually integrated into this as well versus the old as you can see it's adjustable with a slider on the track and of course you have the emergency whistle in the that as well all right, when I took this bag out of the box, one of the first things that I noticed is a lot of the metal hardware. And right here, here's a good example of this. On these D-rings right here, this is a new flat design versus if you look over on this side right here, it's more of a classic rounded D-ring design. And again, if we scroll up to the top here, we can shoot, see with the shoulder straps, on the new, it's made out of metal. On the old, it is plastic. And again, let's scroll down to the bottom of these right here metal plastic now let's be real here the old i never had any problems with the with the plastic hardware on there but we can't hide the fact that the metals could be much more durable and also from an aesthetic standpoint come on this looks more the, the hardware looks more part of the bag there's more continuity with the hardware versus here because on the old bag you have some metal here you have plastic here it's kind of a mix and match so we shall we say here so this definitely from aesthetic standpoint really does the trick now let's crack these things open and let's take a look at one of my favorite new features between this with the new bag here all right, so I'm gonna have to do this one at a time because I just don't have the, the, the space with the, the frame here. But as you can see on the old bag here, uh, you, you have really not much going on. You have a zipper up here and there is a small pocket in here. Uh, and then of course you have some Molly uh, tabs here on the bottom where you can attach things, which truthfully speaking, I never use this. This pocket's too small. I mean, I can put some stuff in there, but I just never did, and I never used the Molly. So now let's dive into the new design here. This thing is absolutely, this is really functional. You have a laptop sleeve right here, which is fantastic. You have all these little magnetic little storage spots, which I absolutely love. So you can put your memory cards in here. And then of course you have another pocket right here. And of course it has that, a very durable zipper. It's see-through so you can put a lot, it's much more functional. Down here, again, you have three magnets here that close this together, which is really nice. And you have a business card little pouch there. So again, from an organizational standpoint, this is a this is a 10 this is they they really took this up a notch so that was one of the things that i kind of i i guess i could have griped about with the old bag i didn't really have a good location where i wanted to kind of store my laptop now actually they had it on the front but if i have a tripod there i don't want my tripod rub it up against the my computers so in my opinion this is a much better location to put the laptop versus on the front and one other thing not to be captain obvious here is the fabric that they're using on the new bag you have this new dur diamond which looks absolutely amazing and versus now again on the old let's not take anything away they had a ripstop nylon used on the on the old bag but this is definitely a big upgrade and another thing i just noticed here the these this this fabric that they're using here which is kind of like a plasticky rubber uh it's definitely larger here than on the old which is great so when you're putting the bag down it's gonna be much more durable it's basically the same material that they're using on the bottom of the bags itself and so yeah so there you go guys now it's time to get out and start using this thing
All right, guys, so it's a little bit after a week of having the new Tilopa or F-Stop Tilopa version two. I would guess I probably logged a good four and a half, five hours with this thing on my back. Now, first impressions, they really hit a home run. Now, I have a couple questions that I do need to ask the F-Stop people. One of them involves or uh, is focused around these straps here. You know, I've one of the things I'm always particular about because I always carry a ton of gear with me is the straps. And the old Tilopa was very, very comfortable. It was actually a very solid bag. Um, this one feels a little bit more comfortable and I have this thing loaded down right now so I need to find out whether or not they made any adjustments or improvements to the strap itself. I don't remember that being one of the items that was improved on here but it sure does feel good. Uh, so a lot of the things that I'm really admiring or appreciating about this bag here, let's see if I can get back into some light here, sun's going down, um, are the increase, let's see if I have any up here. Well, I do like the metal hardware on here and then also the uh, paracord uh, grips on the, uh, on the zippers. The added length really does make a big difference in getting a hold of the zippers and pulling them out and this and that. Um, I have to say, this bag looks fantastic. Again, it's funny, when I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, it was hard when this bag was first coming in, I was not sure what to expect because I couldn't imagine them making a bag that was already very good into better and they really did manage to do that. Uh, from a functionality standpoint, this bag is a plus. Now, would I recommend if you have a Tilopa bag already, would I recommend going out there and picking up uh, this one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Depending upon what you're looking for in a bag, uh, for me, one of the big selling points with this bag, as I mentioned earlier, is that it has the access for my laptop. So now I have an easier pouch, uh, or easier access pouch for putting or carrying my laptop with me. Uh, and then on top of that, there's just better storage, there's better organization, and the bag looks absolutely amazing. All right, guys, we've unboxed this bad boy. We've done a side-by-side -side comparison of it with the original Tilopa, and I've outlined why the original bag is on my all-time best list of camera bags. So, how does the new version Tilopa stack up? I'll explain it like this. Early in the video, I mentioned that it was tough for me to imagine that F-Stop could make the original Tilopa that much better. Heck, I'd even give the original Tilopa a nine or a nine and a half out of 10. But F-Stop did manage to make a lot of improvements that made this bag even better than the original one. Now for me, probably the biggest change that I noticed with the bag is definitely the fabric. The fabric and of course, the metal hardware. I mean, between these two, and let's not discount, collectively, there are a lot of small changes that they made to this bag that really make it that much better, that much of a badass bag. I mean, the change from the plastic to the metal hardware, the longer zipper pulls that really make it much easier to get into the bag, especially, you know, kind of thinking, as we're coming into the colder months, that's really gonna help when you have gloves on. Now, the additional pockets and the zippers and the overall look and functionality of this bag make this a solid 10 out of a 10 all day long. And for that reason, the new version of the Tulipa will replace the original, and I'm pointing over to the wall because that's where I hang up all my camera bags. It's going to replace the original on my all time best favorite bag. This thing is simply that good. Now you guys know when I review a product, I like to take my time using the field and give you a comprehensive overview of the product. I also like to include things I simply don't like about the product. Guys, in this case, I honestly, I can't find anything wrong with this bag. And it's not like I didn't try or try to find something as well. In all fairness, you know, early on, because when I'm out there testing a bag, I'm also trying to find things that I don't like so I can at least report that. And early on, I, was, I wasn't I was sure about the, the buckle that goes around, but after about five or six times, you know, it's like clockwork. It's easy to get the thing latched and unlatched. Anyways, going back over to this here, it really is just an impressive bag that I'm excited to use for years and years to come. Now, of course, if this bag became a bleep on your radar scope, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can go check out one for yourself. All right, let's close off today's video with a overview of our current giveaway. We have three excellent prizes up for the grab. Speaking of which, we have an F-Stop Tolopa camera bag, we have, a, we have a Rode Video Micro mic, and of course, the $100 Adorama gift card. Entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to 
register on the site to introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways. You're still eligible to win, but as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, let us know what's going on with you. And friend, that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, there you go. This was a fun video to put together. It's that time of the video where, of course, I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that is oh so valuable to the channel. So if this camera bag review was helpful, you found some value in it, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hey, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, smash, kick that bell so therefore you're notified each time that we come out with a new video. Friend, I'm gonna be jumping out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.